Hi, I'm Gary. I'm almost 74 years old. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's in February of 2008. I lost the ability to write a check. Many, many people don't realize that there's so many different symptoms that you get with Parkinson's. But my handwriting got smaller and smaller and unrecognizable. And one day I wrote a check and I, and I put the I tore the check out of the book and put it on the, on the, on the table, my desk. And the phone rang and I took the call. And after I, after I finished the call, I, pick, I picked up the check and put it in an envelope and I looked at it and I couldn't read it. And that was very frustrating for me. That, that, was, that, that, that was the day that I think I hit bottom with this disease and said, I'm gonna do something about this. So I researched it and I found out that this micrographia, which they, they call it, can be fixed with hand, strengthening your hands. So I got hand grips and I did and I do a lot of these flicks. And it took, oh, I would say eight to ten weeks, and my handwriting was better than ever. That was that was an important day for me. Because I that was the first time I realized that yeah, you can do something about this. This is the degenerative disease. If if you're degenerating, how do you get a function back? I didn't understand that. And what else could I get back? So the next thing I attacked was my foot. I, I never thought that I would ever be be faced with a uh, an issue where I couldn't run. My, when, I first, when I first got Parkinson's, running was very hard because you, I couldn't synchronize my steps. My, my left leg would not cooperate. And it was, I actually tried it a couple of times and I felt unsafe. I felt, I'm, I'm gonna chip and fall. And I was really into hiking a lot. And I loved getting on the mountains. And that was, that was tough to deal with, that I wasn't gonna be able to do that. And when I started to, to exercise, do, do the exercises that I did, and I started to get some of that back, I started, I, I started off hiking like I had never hiked before. So I started off on real basic, easy trails. I, I started using uh, poles for safety and for better posture and so on. And one thing led to another, and, and last summer, there were some mountains that I climbed that I never thought I'd be anywhere near. They were, it was the most rewarding experience of my life. Now, it took me a lot longer than I had ever did before, and I didn't care. And what, on one particular mountain, I think everybody in the Milky Way galaxy passed me. But it never bothered me, because I was back on a mountain doing what I love to do. I, I feel like having had Parkinson's has made me a much better human being. And, and just to give you an example of what I meant by that, when I used to when Annie and I, my wife Annie and I used to hike, sometimes I would, I would be running on those mountains. And after I got Parkinson's, we would go hiking on the same trail that uh, we were on, and I would say, you know, I don't, I don't remember seeing this. And she said, you idiot, when you came through here, you were running 100 miles an hour. So I, I became a smell of roses guy. I'm still on a mountain that I love, but look at this scenery. When somebody without, who's never had Parkinson's, when they get out of bed at night, or in the morning, they throw the covers off, they roll over, they stand up, and they go about their business. When I do that, when I, as soon as I stand up, I say, yes, I can still do this. That's a victory. So it, it, it just, I'm a better person because I, 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 know, I appreciate everything in life, that things that I took for granted, that you, don't, that you take for granted. Somebody with Parkinson's like me says, I don't take anything for granted anymore. And I know how to smell the roses, and I know how to enjoy life. People with Parkinson's, the camaraderie is special. I, I don't quite know the answer for, for why that is, but I've seen other group classes and, and you see a lot of individual things, but in a, in, a, in a group Parkinson's class, it's very special. And I think it's because people come to the class and, and it, they're not embarrassed. It's, it's a sanctuary. And they're all there fighting the same disease and, and that they, they're, they're making a lot of noise and, and cheering each other on. And it's very, very special. It's, it's more special than any group exercise class I've ever been in. So I would encourage you to, you know, working on one-on-one -on -one is, is fine, but I would encourage you to find a, a, a class, any, regardless of where you are, there's an, undoubtedly gonna be some classes especially dedicated to Parkinson's disease. And I encourage you to do it because the camaraderie is really what makes it special. It's, it's important to uh, know that when you first start off exercising and you have Parkinson's, you're gonna get hit hard with fatigue. It's not gonna be easy. I mean, we, I think most of us have uncovered that, and I see that in people that I'm teaching. Your attitude is so important. You say, I'm gonna, I, know I'm, I know this is gonna affect me, it's gonna tire me out. So you take a break and you come back and every, every day you do it a little bit more. What I've noticed in myself and a few others is once you start restoring one thing, all of a sudden everything gets easier. 
and there's no feeling in the world like taking a disease like this where you could, I couldn't get out of bed without help. I couldn't get into a car without help. And now it's not a problem. And when you get those, when you get relieved of that, and you can do that by yourself, get out of the bed in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. You don't have to call somebody else. That's, as the Davis Finney Foundation said, every victory counts. I never thought that a victory would be being able to get out of bed without assistance or getting into a car, but it is. And that's what it means by that. When you do that through exercise and you can get it back, but do not quit. Because if you quit, you, 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 you're done. And it's very important. My philosophy with exercise and, and in teaching all of these classes that I've taught is the most important thing is a statement that I read somewhere in research that said, push past that self-selected energy expenditure. Those are million dollar words for raise the bar. You've got to know that when you get to a point and, you, and you've recovered something, you can't sit back and say, okay, it's status quo, I'm going to take a break. Because I tell you, Mr. Parkinson's, he's not going to take a break. He's, come, he's going to keep coming after you and you got to keep fighting back. So you got to keep raising that bar.